Привет, ребята! Меня зовут Елена, и я преподаватель русского языка. Добро пожаловать на мой канал Language Nerd. So today we're going to learn how to say to go in Russian language. And no, it's not that simple as in English language, because in Russian language, as you will find out today, there are many variations that you can use if you want to say simply I go. That is the reason why I have prepared this extremely important lesson for you so that you can learn all the basics and everything that you need to know about motion verbs in Russian language. You ready? Let's start with the lesson. So when my students ask me how to say to go in Russian, um, it's not that straightforward, you know, I don't have a very simple answer for you for this question because in my mind what I ask myself is whether you're going on food or whether you're going by means of transportation, whether you're going there on a regular basis, is it a repeat action or are you going there just once, is it just one off action? So before you can decide how to say to go in Russian language, you need to ask all of these questions, you need to ask yourself. Am I going there just once or am I going to go there twice, three times? So it's going to be a repeated action. The second question that you need to ask yourself is, am I using any kind of transportation when I go somewhere or am I going on foot? Because depends on that, how you answer these questions, you will need to use a different verb to kind of transmit this meaning. So the first verb pair that we're going to have a look at is the verb ITI and HADIT. If it's a one-off action and you're going somewhere on food, then you need to use the verb ITI. Я иду на работу, ты идешь на работу, он, она идет в школу, мы идем в парк, вы идете в город, они Идут в магазин. And if I want to say that I go somewhere on food, but it is a repeated action that happens on a regular basis, then I need to use the verb идти. Я хожу на работу. Ты ходишь на работу. Он, она ходит в школу. Мы ходим в парк. Вы ходите в город, и они ходят в магазин. Now, if you're going somewhere with a means of transportation, whether it is a car, a bus, a motorbike, and so on, then you need to use the verb ездить or it's fair ехать. Now, if it's a one-off action and you're using a means of transportation, then you need to use the verb ехать. Я еду на работу, ты едешь. На работу он, она едет в школу, мы едем в парк, вы едете в магазин, они едут в парк. And if I want to say that I go somewhere by using means of transportation, but it is a repeated action, then you need to use the verb ездить. For example, я езжу на работу, ты ездишь на работу, он, она ездит в школу, мы ездим в парк, вы ездите в магазин, они ездят в парк. And if you're going somewhere by plane, you can use either the verb лететь or летать. So the verb лететь is a perfective verb and it's used when you want to just describe one-off action, so one-time action that you're going somewhere by plane. And if you find yourself in a Russian airport, you can hear this phrase a lot. Куда вы летите? Куда вы летите? And you can answer it to this phrase like, for example, я лечу в Санкт-Петербург. Now, if you want to emphasize that you are going somewhere by plane on a regular basis, so you want to say that this is a repeated action, then you need to use the imperfective form of the verb, which is летать. Летать, which means to fly. 
For example, you could say каждое лето мы летаем на Черное море. Или самолет на Москву летает по средам. And if you like to be super organized and you feel like you need a bit more help with your studies, do have a look at my Etsy shop where I have a number of different flashcards, booklets and type of tasks that may help you with your study of Russian language. Okay, let's continue with motion verbs. The other verb that I want to mention is the verb that you use when you are describing that you're going somewhere by boat, which is plate. That is the perfective form of the verb or its imperfective form is plavet. Now, if it's one of action that you're going somewhere by boat, you would say plit. For example, you can say karabel plivyot pari kia. However, if you want to emphasize that something is happening on a regular basis, then you could say that kajde utra karabel plavayet po rikia. And in our last category, I want to discuss exceptions. So what verb do you think you need to use if you are to say that you're going somewhere by tram, train or a bus? Give yourself five seconds to think, pause the video and write the answer in the comment box. Okay, time is up. Now, if you have answered that you need to use the verb Ехать or есть it, that's correct. You can say я еду на трамвае на работу или я еду в Москву на поезде или я еду в город на автобусе. However, if you are to say that the train or the tram or the bus is coming, for example, to the station, then you are not going to actually use the verb ехать or ездить. Instead, we use the verb идти. Hmm, interesting, right? You might find this completely illogical and that it doesn't make any sense. But however, if you are to say that the bus or the train or the tram is coming actually to the station, you can see the bus and it's coming to the station, that you actually need to say автобус идет или трамвай идет или поезд идет. Okay, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and of course see you in my next one. Пока-пока, увидимся 